Hello everyone, I am Adrija. Welcome to my study room. We are now learning about the second chapter of class 7 science that is nutrition in animals. In the previous video, we have already discussed about the human digestive system and in this video, we are going to discuss about nutrition in ruminants and nutrition in amoeba. So let's start. So first, let's discuss about nutrition in ruminants. Before learning about nutrition in ruminants, we have to understand that what are actual ruminants. So we know that we the human beings cannot eat raw grass leaves etc. But we have seen different animals like cow, goat, deer, sheep etc. They can eat the grass leaves etc. So how can they eat the grass and leaves? So actually we human beings cannot digest the cellulose present in the grass and leaves. Um, there is cellulose present in the grass and leaves and we human beings cannot digest the cellulose. But the animals such as cow, goat etc. they can digest the cellulose present in the grass and leaves by the help of some bacteria um, that are present in their digestive system. So that's the animals that can digest the cellulose, those animals are known as ruminants. Example cow, deer etc. they are known as ruminants as they can digest cellulose. So we are going to learn about the digestive system of ruminants. Um, the digestive system is almost same as human digestive system and there is some certain changes in, in its digestive system like they have four chambers of their stomach. Um, we human beings have only one stomach but they have four chambers in their stomach. They are rumen. Rumen is the largest chamber of their stomach. Rumen. Reticulum. Omasum. This rumen reticulum and omasum act as a food pipe. Also acts as a food pipe. And abomasum. This abomasum is actually the true stomach, the real stomach of them of the ruminants. Abomasum. So the four chambers are rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. Okay. So the digestive system of ruminants is divided into two different steps: the first step and the second step. Now we are going to learn about the first step and the second step in details. So first let's discuss about the first step. In the first step, the ruminants, the ruminants half chew and partially digest the grass and leaves. They do not fully chew it, they just half chew the grass and leaves and then partially digest it and swallow it. So what do we human beings do? We fully chew it and then swallow it but they do not do so. They half chew it, partially digest it and then swallow it. And this partially digested food is known as cud. It is very important. It is known as cud. Okay. And this partially digested food is stored in them. And then we have seen many times that the cow, goat, etc. There is no grass present. There is no grass present, but they are chewing something. So actually what happens, the ruminants, um, when they're relaxing in their laser time, um, they take out the cud, the cud that is stored in them and then they fully chew it. So what they do, this, they take out the cud and then they fully chew it and then they again swallow it. So this process is known as cud chewing. It is known as, it is known as cud chewing or rumination. Okay, this process is known as cut chewing or rumination and that's why these animals are known as ruminants as they can follow the process of rumination so they are also known as ruminants. So this was the first step, now let's move to the second step. In the second step we are going to learn about it in more details. Um, so what happens, we know that they first have to and partially digest and then swallow it. So where does this partially digested food goes. 
In the second step, um, this partially digested food goes into the rumen. The first chamber of the stomach, the largest chamber, it is known as rumen. It is stored in the rumen. And over here in the rumen, the digestion of cellulose happens. The cellulose gets digested in the rumen. So first they half chew and partially digest it and then they swallow it and then it comes into the rumen and here it is uh, the cellulose gets digested and in this rumen the digestion of cellulose happens and over here in this rumen there are some bacteria and microorganisms present that actually digest the cellulose. So this is the function of the rumen, rumen and this bacteria and other microorganisms digest the cellulose. And then when they again take back the cut, what happens from the rumen, it goes into the reticulum. We have learned that reticulum also acts as a food pipe. So from the rumen, it goes into the reticulum and finally it goes into the mouth where they again fully chew it. So first uh, from the rumen goes into the reticulum and then it goes into the mouth and they fully chew it over there and then they again swallow it and now the swallowed food, the fully chewed food does not come into the rumen and the reticulum. This two function is completed. This two function is completed. So it does not come into the rumen and the reticulum and the fully chewed food go to, goes into the omasum. Um, over here in the omasum, some water is absorbed and it also acts as a food pipe and from the omasum it goes into the true stomach abomasum it is the true stomach of the, the of the ruminants abomasum so over here um, the digestion occurs as same as in human stomach so in the abomasum the gastric juices are secreted and then the food is digested and then um, the process of digestion is same as in humans then from the stomach it goes into the small intestine in the small intestine the digestion gets completed and from the small intestine after the digestion gets completed it is sent the undigested food is sent into the large intestine we have already learned this and then from the large intestine it is finally digested so this was the four chambers of the stomach's function um, this this is the only difference between the human digestive system and the digestive system of ruminants it is that the ruminants have four chambers of stomach especially for digesting the cellulose so this was the digestive system of ruminants now we are going to learn about the digestive system of amoeba nutrition in amoeba so now let's learn about the amoeba nutrition so before learning about this nutrition we have to know what is an amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organism Unicellular means single celled, means uh, the amoeba has only one cell. It is only one celled organism. So it is known as unicellular organism. And it is so small that it can only be seen through a microscope. So the amoeba has no definite shape. It is just like this. It is no definite shape and it has a nucleus in the middle. So this is what an amoeba looks like. So now we are going to learn about the nutrition in amoeba. So we have to first learn that how an amoeba intake its food. So suppose this is a food and the ame what happens, uh, these are the finger like projections and these finger like projections are known as pseudopodia. The finger like projections they are known as pseudopodia, it is very important. So now what happens to catch the food, this pseudopodia increases. So suppose this is the food and here is the amoeba. So what, suppose this is the amoeba and what happens, uh, the pseudopodia, the finger like projections increases in the direction of the food where the food is present. Okay, this is the amoeba and then what happens? Then um, the pseudopodia, uh, these two pseudopodia fuses with each other and the food is trapped inside. Suppose this was the amoeba and these two pseudopodia fuses with each other. This is the nucleus and this is the food and 
the food is trapped inside suppose this two are the pseudopodia and here is a food present so this pseudopodia increases and then the pseudopodia fuses with each other and then what happens the food is trapped inside the amoeba so this this is the food which is trapped inside the amoeba with the help of the pseudopodia now this food needs to be digested so what happens um, the food is digested in a food vacuole it forms a food vacuole over here this is the food vacuole where the food is present okay this is the food present in the food vacuole in the fat food food vacuole the food gets digested so in the food vacuole let's draw a, a, again this is the amoeba and this is the food vacuole and in this food vacuole what happens the uh, uh, some digestive juices are secreted and this digestive juices breaks down the food into simpler substances so it breaks down it into simpler simpler substances and the simpler substances are absorbed by the amoeba and then utilized by the amoeba for growth development etc and the undigested food that is present in the amoeba is ejected out of the amoeba so this was the process of nutrition in amoeba with this we have completed the second chapter of science that is nutrition in animals i'm going to be back with a new chapter soon so if you like this video click on like button and to stay with me please click on subscribe button thank you